Hey, Craig here. So in this video, we're going to be doing something different. Uh, we're actually going to be machining uh, square tubing for a powder coating rack. All right. So this is what the, the racks look like. Uh, I've already made a couple of these, uh, but I'm going to make a, a couple more. These are just tests so far. Uh, so I'm just putting these um, corner brackets on. Uh, what we're going to be making are the, uh, the cross pieces right here. Um, I've already made the frame right here, so... You know, normally when you're trying to drill holes through a square tubing like this, this is a 16 gauge, this is a three quarter square 16 gauge. Usually when you're trying to drill a hole through it, uh, even if you get the hole, you know, perfectly in the center on the top, you know, by the time you get down through the bottom, usually you poke out on an angle or something. Um, you know, if you've got a drill press, that makes it a lot easier. Um, but uh, uh, since I have a uh, CNC machine here, a Tor the Tormach 770. I'm going to see just how fast I can uh, knock 16, 16 of these out. Okay, so I've got it all set up here. I'm actually using uh, the Machinist Square with a uh, dowel pin in the tooling plate for a work stop. Um, I've got my zero set on this corner right here. And we're about ready to go. Now since the work envelope is uh, too small to do this whole part, I basically uh, cut it in half. There's six holes per tube. So I'm going to do three and then I'm going to flip it around and do the other three. Okay, well it looks like I forgot to drill tip through bottom, so I'm going to have to go back and change the code and uh, run that again. Okay, this time should work. Okay, all that worked. All right, and I'll uh, get it set up and we'll see just how fast we can get through all of these. Okay, well that took about uh, about 35 minutes. Uh, it probably could have been a little faster if I had a better setup, you know, because I just have the uh, the parallels in there just kind of floating around. If I had like the snap-on type that didn't move around, 
it'd be easier and if I had an actual work stop on there. And I probably could have done it in about a half an hour or less maybe. Um, if I optimized the speeds and everything like that. Um, I got a little over half of them deburred while I was doing it. Um, I had an awful lot of, I don't know, hanging chads on here. I think the drill bit that I'm using is, I'm not really sure how old it is. It could have drilled a thousand holes already by now, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, that could that could be, uh, that would make it easier too, so. All right, all the bird. Well, I thought I would make this video just to show that, uh, you know, you can actually use a CNC machine for, you know, like fabrication type stuff. I don't know, kind of like a uh, drill press on steroids, I guess. Actually, I got the idea of doing this from uh, Titan Gilroy, Titans of, from si Titans of CNC. Uh, he was doing a video about making gym equipment. You know, they have gym equipment, they have all those holes in there for the different uh, rack positions and stuff. And uh, so after I watched it, I got the idea and, and uh, started trying this and it's been working out pretty good. And All right, well, this rack is all done. Just need to make uh, one more. All right, well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there should be a link over here somewhere. Uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a link up here. Uh, some other videos you might like to watch over here. And as always, thanks for watching.